Cassidy Lior from Defying Impossible, and I'm going to talk about day four of my writing class. So again, today we have a change in scenery. I am sitting on the stairs leading up to the second floor of my family's business. And this would be because I am not in the mood to brave the heat up there. So I'm just gonna get to it. I am totally out of it today. All day has been like that. I'm so tired. And this play opens tomorrow, so I should be a lot more steady-minded after this play is over. Today at my writing class, I got there, and the first thing the teacher had us do was to write a letter from our 70-year-old self to our current self, which would be 15 years old, and it was an accident, but I filled up like eight pages. We had to read it out loud. So she read hers out loud. It was more like comedy based. You know, it was really clever and smart. And I was like, impressive. I'm impressed. And then they told me to read it out loud. And at first I tried to get out of it. I was like, I'm really bad at reading out loud. I don't like public speaking at all. Like I stumble over my words, which is one of the many reasons I actually decided to start this YouTube channel so that it could help with my speaking and whatnot, because I'm really bad at it. It makes me really, really nervous. But, you know, looking into a camera is different than looking into two sets of eyes or like... It's pretty frightening. So I finally gave in and I read it out loud and I'm pretty sure um, the teacher had like tears in her eyes. I'm just kidding, she really didn't. But they applauded kindly and while I was reading it, like, they kept glancing at each other. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is so embarrassing. Because on that letter, I didn't realize how much I needed that until I started writing it. It was a lovely thing. I'm pretty sure I will be looking back on that letter many, many times. And even though it's obviously I didn't age 70 years old and write that letter, it was still accurate. And it was how I would like my future to be like. So I will be reading that very often when I'm feeling low. It's kind of like a, giving myself a little pep talk, you know, it was, it was pretty great. And then she made some tea and offered us some tea, but I was like, no, because it wasn't sweet tea. And I like my sweet tea with like six cups of sugar in it. Just kidding, I really don't, but I really do. <laughs> and then basically for like the last 20 minutes, we just talked about books. Like the other girl she brought up, she's like, I really need book recommendations. And so me and the teacher were like, oh, I got you some book recommendations. So we, we all talked about books and like she asked my opinion on stuff and I was, thank you, lady. I just met you like four days ago, but thank you for asking my opinion on Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. That's mainly what we talked about and I love that book. And then we came home and then rehearsals until really late. And then I filmed this. And then I'm going to edit it once I get home, and then I'm going to post it. As you can tell, it's posted. Obviously really late, because I don't sleep nearly as much as I should, but whatever. I just want to say something real quick. Uh, I'm currently reading Since You've Been Gone by... Hmm, by someone. I don't remember who, but it's called Since You've Been Gone, and I'm currently reading it for Bookaholic Nikki's read-along that she's doing, and usually I don't participate in read-alongs because I feel like restrained, like I go everywhere, I read what I want to read, I do whatever I want, so read-alongs, I've never done one before, and I'm a little late getting started on this one, I think, but I really just had to be a part of it because, like, Nikki, I've had a few conversations with her. Hi Nikki, if you watch this, I don't know if you will, but I've had a few conversations with her and uh, she's on the newer side of book two and I really love her videos and she's a huge inspiration and so I really just wanted to be a part of it. If nothing else, just to support her and read along with her. I will leave Bookaholic Nikki's link to her YouTube page down below. You should really check her out. She's awesome. But I was gonna read the book anyway. I just hadn't purchased it. So it was kind of that nudge to get me to buy it because I wanted to read it and I'm like halfway through already. And I love it. I'm loving it. 
it's amazing. I'll probably do a review on it or something in the future. But I'm hoping to have this finished before midnight on Sunday because that's when the book a thon starts. And let me just tell you how excited I am for the book a thon It is thought of and created by Ariel Bissette, and I will leave her link down below. She's a really awesome booktuber, and I love all of her videos. And whenever she thought of this idea, I was like, I was blown away. I was like, this is gonna be so awesome. So I'm, I'm gonna be making videos, and I'm gonna be reading books, and we'll see how that goes. Hopefully I have enough time to be doing that. I'm determined because it looks like a ton of fun. So thank you, Errol Bissett, for thinking of that wonderful idea and allowing other smaller and larger booktubers to be a part of it. Because it means, it means a lot. Follow the links below because they're really awesome. Check them out. Cool booktubers are cool. And I hope I see you next time.